Hello and welcome to your September 2023 New Moon reading with myself, Thomas Yannick. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, the new moon in September 2023, which is happening, like I said, on the 15th of September, is in the sign of Virgo. Now, Virgo, by default, is a sign that... Um, is quite steadfast in knowing who you are. Virgo is quite clear on knowing, you know, who am I? You know, I know my strengths. Uh, and Virgo is also one of those signs that doesn't falter so easily under stress. And in that energy, you can then use what the new moon is for, which is manifestation and prioritizing yourself. Because on the new moon, there is no light, there's no illumination. Um, and it is really, really important then to understand this is the best time to prioritize myself. Um, don't allow any distractions to happen and um, manifest what I want. Now, when it comes to manifestation, the new moon is happening on September the 15th. On September the 18th, the planet of love, Venus, is reaching its strongest brightness. So Venus will be especially bright as we're sort of moving on from the new moon energy. And because the planet of love, Venus, is really out there and visible, anything you manifest um, works best if you manifest anything to do with uh, love um, and with um, relationships that are more intimate, if that makes sense. Um, now, just the day after Venus uh, goes uh, or reaches its brightest uh, point, which is on the 18th, on the 19th then, the Moon reaches an opposition to Neptune. Neptune governs Pisces, the sign of the dreamer. And Neptune brings spirituality to the forefront. So what you can expect is when it comes to your manifestations, Right? And they all go smooth and all great. On the 19th, just a couple of days after the new moon, you will likely not be super connected to your spiritual core, albeit not for long, if that makes sense. So don't go into doubt. Whatever you manifest on the 15th, remember, it is the strongest uh, when it has to do with, with what you want with regards to being uh, fulfilled um, on an emotional level when it comes to love. Um, but when you then go into doubt, you don't want to undo what you manifested, right? So self-doubt, um, if it does come in for you, will very likely come in uh, a couple of days after the new moon. New moon is on the 15th of September. The doubt full time <laughs> will likely happen um, when the moon is in direct opposition with Neptune, which will be on the 19th of September. In total and in short, because the new moon is in the sign of Virgo, you are and will be in your strengths to manifest just what it is you want. Really, really important. So, that's all I got for you guys. Um, like I said, please like, subscribe and share. And um, I am... Uh, now a and I can't talk an executive contributor for the Brains magazine, um, and I write a lot for their mindfulness sections. And um, so this is all. Uh, this is a magazine that that uh, reaches over a million people every month, and um, they handpick people. So I'm really really grateful that they picked me to write for their magazine, and I write a lot about you know astrology and mindfulness and you know helping helping you to uh, always be at your strengths if that makes sense so i leave the a link in the description box below so that's that please like subscribe and share um, because that will really help the channel grow and i see you all very soon bye bye